Welcome to OFR. This is the classic Hemnes bed frame from IKEA, and in this video, I'll be sharing my thoughts about this bed frame and other things that I liked and disliked about it. Overall, I think this bed frame gives off a warm feeling, especially in this white stain. Pretty much the whole bed frame, other than the middle part that includes the slatted bed base and metal supports, are made out of pine. Pine is a softwood, meaning that it can dent pretty easily, so you can expect that over time, you will see dents, especially around the legs where there's a lot of foot traffic. When I was testing out the overall stability, I must say that I found it to be a really stable bed frame. As you can see, when I applied some force in the back and forth direction, I could barely get a wiggle. As for the side to side movement, you can expect the same result, maybe a slight wiggle, but nothing serious. I found that the part of the bed that moves the most is the headboard. As you can see, when I applied some force in the back and forth direction, there was some movement. You can obviously still use the headboard to lean your head on, but you'll need to stack some pillows to make the experience more comfortable. As we go to the middle section of this bed frame, you'll notice the Leroy slatted bed base. It is pretty much the standard bed base you can purchase from IKEA. Each end of the bed base is held in place by these knobs, but I personally prefer the plastic hooks that IKEA uses with other bed frames as I think they do a better job with holding the bed base in place. I would also like to add that with this particular bed frame, I think IKEA didn't drill the holes properly in the side supports. You can see that the ends of the slatted bed base are not aligned and move quite a bit. I think this could be a one-off, but if you also have the same problem, comment below to let others know that it could be a potential issue with this bed frame. So with this issue, I can't really give a clear view on how well the slatted bed base stays in place. But I also found that your mattress will be elevated about 10.5 inches above the ground if you choose to install the side supports on the lowest level. I think it's a reasonable height as I found that getting out of bed is pretty comfortable. Again, this factor depends on what level you choose to install your supports and how thick your mattress is. Underneath the slatted bed base, you have extra space to use for storage. You can use it to store extra shoes or keep extra items in your storage boxes. I would like to add that you can buy the Hemnes bed with extra drawers in case you need a more organized storage solution in your room. With this bed, you can also expect that the legs won't come with any scratch guards. If you don't have any rugs underneath your bed, I'd recommend getting some felt pads or something else that minimizes scratching and movement. Another thing I would like to add is that my brother bought this exact same bed, but in a queen though, and used it for about three years. He told me that he noticed squeaking sounds after some time of using the bed, but initially, I didn't hear any squeaking when I was testing it out. So if you're interested in this bed frame, it should take you about one to two hours to complete the whole build. If you want to speed up the assembly process, I also made a tutorial on it to help you out. Right now, this particular bed frame, which is a full, will cost you either $349 in Canada or $229 in America. In America, you also have the choice of going with a different slatted bed base. All in all, if you don't mind the potential squeaking sound coming from the bed in the long run, I think it's a decent bed frame. Again, decent, but not great. Smash that like button if you enjoyed the video, and screw that subscribe button if you want to see more furniture review videos.